I mean, yeah, that's like a pretty close, easy clap. All pretty much on, he's saying all pretty much on the gear item level requirement. And I mean, yeah, me and him are both just one engraving. Oh, oh baby, oh my god, no way. Welcome, Lost Ark player. You've stumbled into my Lost Ark from scratch account series. I'm making an account and I'm not allowing myself to use the auction house. I'm also not allowing myself to trade other players. Meaning, I'll have to farm every stone, accessory, and honing crystal from within the account's roster. Sound like a pain in the ass? Wait till I tell you how we have to get all our engraving books. See, before Lost Ark, I played a lot of old school RuneScape, and the Iron Man mode is a very prominent feature of the game. It's constantly updated and you even get a little helmet next to your name when you type so people know you're an Iron Man. What's difficult about the Iron Man playstyle is that you often find yourself against hard bosses without the levels required to kill it, and definitely without the gear required to kill it, and apparently, I think that that's the most fun way to play the game. It'll be interesting to see what type of problems we're gonna run into while building an Iron Man roster, but I know I have one true goal already. By piecing together drops from a high volume of characters on the account, I'm going to attempt to down the most challenging content the game offers without the aid of the dreaded auction house. I might never see a perfect 5x3 character on this account, but what if we did? Wouldn't that be nice? This is where we're starting episode 2. As for our tier 3 characters, we're probably going to try to unlock Argos, and then most likely unlock the second Areha Abyssal Dungeon for our other Gunslinger. After that, it's going to be a lot of alt work to hopefully get the full crowd through tier 1, Hopefully through most of tier 2 and maybe we can even get a tier 3 character out of our alt this week. Ever since honing became a 100% chance in tier 1 and 2, the honing strategy in those tiers became really simple and straightforward. You take a character, you hone it till it can do the abyssal dungeon. You do the abyssal dungeon, you get the resources, you buy the chest, you hone until you can do the highest tier of chaos dungeon you can do. You do that, then you do your guardian raids. At some point, you're going to need to clear at least until floor 40 of the tower, maybe 45 if you want to keep going. You can see that we're soloing it on this character, and that's mainly because on the other characters, we were running around using up our life energy because the queues were taking like 4 minutes. I don't really know of a route this way. That's that good. Okay, sorry guys. You're going to have to wait until I mine this. The reason why you mine this is because when we spawn back in after the Guardian Raid, we're most likely going to have another node right there, just ready to harvest. Nice, good dodge. Get that dual box in there. GG! GG! Big GG! Oh my god. Wait, hold on, look, there we are. We spawn right in next to the Copper Ore after the Guardian Raid. That's what it's all about. That's secretly what it's all about. Oh, beautiful. We spawned in right next to a... Look at that. Look at that. Planning. And we got five. Oh my. The day just keeps giving. Oh my. And we got a world tree leaf. Holy shit. Wait, I stopped recording, but then I just turned it back on because I thought we weren't going to get anything else. I was like, there's no way we get anything else. Using up our life energy is going to be very, very, very important if we ever want to consider upgrading our stronghold, fixing our boats, re researching research, all that good stuff. It's all going to be hand farmed materials and that's not something I'm looking forward to. I couldn't help but feel like something weird was happening on the account. I only completed two out of the three Harmony Island minigames, but regardless. Oh my gosh, they gave us Heavenly Armory. Okay, so I mean, they gave us Heavenly Armory. You can't complain too much if that's what they're going to give you. During the first Chaos Gate we've ever done on this account, see out here in the chat box, you can see the achievement for the first time completion. We also got a purple and a blue Rage Room, which is really good. On top of that, we did Moake. We bought a Grudge Book for about 70 gold, and we also got one Papu Crab. Getting a gold room on your main has always got to feel good. And then, and, and then on top of that, there was this crazy honing streak we had from 1355 all the way to 1370. 
we hit the gloves from 14 to 15, and then we proceed to hit both the chest piece and the shoulders from 11 all the way to 15 without missing a single hone. On top, we weren't even using books for like a bunch of these hones. We weren't using books. We only used books from 13 to 14 and 14 to 15. That's about it. But this is literally the whole honing session and I just didn't miss a single hone. It was, it was awesome, to be honest. Seventy. Holy shit, that was five minutes. That was real fast and way not what I expected to happen. Holy smokes. No, did I just eat those up from the welcome challenge right now? No, I just auto-collected those. Oh, bound to roster. Bound to roster. Okay, that's fine. So, this is a lot for us. Three legendary card packs. Random chance. Let's do the first one. That's good for us. Okay, that's a miss. That's okay. Second one. Delay and Armin! Oh, we needed this for Light of Salvation. Oh my gosh. Okay, one more. Oh. Son of a bitch! Holy shit! Okay, so that is Epic Hitmaster redeemed on the account. Nice. Earrings. And 10 rings. Okay. Oh, what can we do? That's a grudge spirit absorption stone? Holy shit. Hold on. Let's hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not asking for much. Just need something good to roll on the first ever legendary stone that we're actually cutting on this character. That's all. Just something to. Oh my. Something decent. Seven five baby holy shit okay um we can work with that since we just got a seven on our stone it makes sense to redeem the all of these non-class engraving books that we got from the hyper express pass 20 green 20 blue and we actually only have 10 purple plus that one that we got earlier from moake meaning we still need to get nine more purple grudge books from different sources grudge six is now complete on the account I don't even know. If we miss this, I'm gonna. Oh, we'd hit. Okay, good. It spoiled it, but we hit. Okay, nice. nice, nice. 1340, we can now do the upgraded Chaos Dungeon. Uh, look at that. Gold Room. Our first Chaos Dungeon at 1340. This is probably gonna give like 200 gold or something. You ever just die in your Chaos Dungeon? <laughs> From doing the 1340 Chaos Dungeons, we ended up getting this Grudge Keen Blunt Weapon Epic Stone. And I know, you might be like, oh, it's only an Epic Stone, it's not gonna do- Well, look how we're cutting this thing, alright? It just didn't want to stop. Before we knew it, we were at 5-5. 55 5 55% left. So if we hit this, it's a 6-5, then we have a 45% chance to hit a 6-6 six, six Epic Stone, which is pretty cool. Yeah, no shop. We missed both. Now on to some 1340 Abyssal Dungeons. Woo! Come on, guy. Come on, guy. Dude. You just gotta hit him, man. You just gotta hit him with your moves, man. Big loot would be nice. A big engraving for us would be nice. Something to keep in mind. Upright fighter. I'll take that. MP efficiency. Yeah, right. Snooze. Um. Yeah, we should just... These chests, I'm pretty... Well, 400... 
I don't know if they're worth it or not, but we're just gonna take them. I was going. I was trying to get out of that. I really was. This is it. They're gonna do it. Oh fuck! They almost died. Okay. GG. First time doing that one. First time completing that one. I mean, yeah, that's like a pretty close, easy clap. All pretty much on. He's saying all pretty much on the gear item level requirement. And I mean, yeah, me and him are both just one engraving. Oh, oh, baby. Oh my God. No way. They gave it to holy. I'm buying this. I have to buy this. How much are those? I can't afford it. I have two nine. Oh my God. I can't afford that. No, man. Oh, dang. See, it's nice because that is the one engraving that we currently have. That is the current only level three engraving we have. So I'm going to throw down uh, two, five hundred and two, seven. I could, no, I can't beat that. See, these guys have gold. I got nothing. No. Oh, okay. I can't bid it up past that. Thank you, guy. Thank you, guy. Thank you, guy. Dude, 1900 gold. 1900 gold. Dude, this guy. Nez O Glaby, thank you very much. It's a pleasure doing business with you, boys. Holy shit. Let's go. Let's go. We'll end up doing Argos P2 in the Areha Hard Dungeon a little later in the week. Right now, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and queue up for the Challenge Abyssal Dungeons. These have a chance to drop legendary card packs and also legendary selection card packs. They're pretty expensive, though. I've never had much gold, so I've always been really scared to go into these and see somebody walk away buying like a legendary card selection pack for like 1500 gold. That is sacrilege. You should ne Nobody should get away with that. Nobody should ever get away with that. Now that I have 4000 gold, I'm going to be able to bid somebody up to a reasonable price to buy this thing. Also a little bit of pro gamer tech for you new gamers or just veteran gamers who love running Ancient Alveria. This guy's first move will always be a teleport and a counter. Always. Always. Every single time. 100% of the time. That's the only move he's allowed to do. Upright fighter? Hey, I'll take that. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. No way I get this right. If he bids, I'm out. If he bids, I'm out. Holy shit, we got it for 4K? Okay, well. See, there's. <laughs> Alright, well, there's. <laughs> Well, we don't have any gold anymore. Stonks, baby, stonks, baby, stonks, baby. Okay, so we just got ourselves a legendary card selection pack. It cost us four, 4,000 gold. And that's where we're stopping episode two for today. Thank you very much for tuning in. Maybe next week we'll get an Argos P3. I'm not going to say Voltan. Maybe that's two or three weeks from now. But Voltan's in the distant future. Argos P3 in the near future. Getting some alts up. Dude, maybe Lost Wind Cliffs? Who knows? Catch me in the next episode and find out. <laughs>